Hi, this is Cousin Russ. I'm going to introduce a new series of blog posts on Family Tree Maker, specifically Family Tree Maker 2019. And some of you may know that this is the 30th anniversary of the program being available to us. So we're going to celebrate that and talk about the new features that are in Family Tree Maker 2019. I want to start in the plan workspace which is where I normally start my work when I open the program. And the new feature that I'm going to talk about on this short subject video is the tree browser. It's a new feature. And let's get right going. So the last three files that I had open are in the lower left hand corner, but I don't normally open my files from there. I go up to the upper left hand corner to where it says select tree and a pull down menu and there are those three files. The reason why I do that is because I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I also have some options to uh, rename the file. I can delete the file. If uh, I am done working with a file and I don't want to see it in the list, I can remove it from the list. And at the top of that menu is the new feature called Tree Browser. Uh, the control key and the number zero will open the same window. Now the tree browser opens by default to the most recent files that you had open. It's the same three files that are in the lower left hand side and in the select the tree menu. You can sort by date modified, the file name and the date that the file was created. And in the larger part of the screen, the right side, it says how many people are in uh, the file, how many media fo files are in, are linked to that uh, file, and who the home person is. So let's get my, that's a test file. Let me get my real file. And this tells me how many people and the number of media files and it says here that it is not linked to Ancestry. So it is not uh, linked to Ancestry member tree. This one, however, is. So I have a good idea of what the three most recent files that I have. When the program is installed on, on your computer, it puts your files in a specific folder on your computer by default. You have the option to change it. I choose not to. On a Windows machine, that is going to be in the documents folder on your hard drive. And Mac users will know where they are uh, put on the Mac. And you can see it at the top right here where that file is saved now, for the current version. And that's what it says right here, current version, uh, current Family Tree Maker version files. And as before, as you select one, it'll give you the information about that file, how many people it is, whether or not it is linked to Ancestry. But I didn't show you in the recent, but they were there. I could delete that tree, I could delete that file and all the media files that would be a link to that file. I can open it from here as well. So this is all the files that are have in the default folder on my computer. Now I skipped the one here in the middle, but this is the powerful one that I really like all files. And here it says older family tree maker version files. Now this one, first one right here that I see, it was created and last modified in 2004. I haven't seen that file for 15 years. Gives me some information about that file and I can delete it and open it as I showed before. But here's the power of this tree browser feature. I hovered over that link and it tells me that it's on one of my external or USB hard drives. So this file that I'm looking at is on my hard uh, external hard drive. So, you know, Family Tree Maker finds our ancestors for us. 
It also can find our files that we have lost or forgot about on any of our hard drive or external hard drives. I think that's really cool. Uh, and you have the same sorting capability that I showed earlier. Now that's the files. These three items are the files on my computer. Let's see what I have on Ancestry. So here are the all of the Ancestry member trees that are online not necessarily connected to this computer. For an example, the one that I have selected says not linked to this computer. So my laptop has the data for this file on it, not on my computer. You will see that there's a green check mark on this one because it is linked to the Ancestry member tree. This one is not linked. But I happen to know that this one is linked to my laptop and I've got into the habit of naming my files that would include laptop so that I know that this file is linked to my laptop, not to this computer. If I scroll down a little bit further, I'm going to find one that is linked to my Mac. So I know that this file right here is on my Mac. Uh, it's something that I learned once we have the capability of working on files to Ancestry through different computers. So uh, the ne next item is new. I'm not going to talk about it a lot, but it is Tree Vault. Tree Vault is a new feature of Family Tree Maker 2019. I will talk about that but set on a separate video. I just want to show, point out that you can see something about the tree vault, the file that is on the tree vault. Uh, and it's called an antenna tree. Now it was scratched my head when I first saw it called an antenna tree, but then it dawned on me. This is the first time we're seeing this tree vault feature and an antenna to me is like an antenna we had on, used to have on TVs and our car radios. You send and received information through an antenna. So I'm thinking that there's a lot of stuff that could happen using the antenna tree in the tree vault by Family Tree Maker. So this is information about the file that I have in the tree vault. So that is a uh, very brief rundown of what is in Family Tree Maker 2019, the new feature called uh, the tree browser. And I will have more recordings as I have time to make the recordings and I will put it on my blog. If you have any comments, please leave it on my blog and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much and have a great day.